Hi there, Victor with Prudential here, and today we're going to talk about the short sale process. We know what's going on in today's market. We know that majority of people applying for a loan modification are rejected. We know that they have tough decisions. Do they let their property go to foreclosure and get themselves forced out of their own home? Or do they apply for a short sale to try to move on their own terms while keeping their credit and finances intact? Well, most people like the idea of a short sale, but they don't understand the process and the steps it takes to get a short sale approved. So let me start by explaining. Step number one for a successful short sale, you need to hire a licensed real estate brokerage to conduct your short sale for you. You need that licensed professional in your corner because no bank is gonna allow you to do a short sale by yourself. And here's a quick tip. No mortgage brokers, no real estate brokerage should charge you any upfront or after the fact fees for a short sale. We know that short sale services are 100% free of any charge. Step number two, you need to make sure your realtor contacts your lender and makes your lender aware of your intent to short sale the home. Now, this is really where the lines of communication open up. Your lender is going to tell your realtor what documents are needed to push the short sale forward. Step number three, your realtor needs to get to work in marketing your property so you have as many buyers as possible view the house. Now, here's a quick tip. There should be no cutting of corners when it comes to marketing a short sale. There's no difference in my opinion uh, between a standard sale and a short sale as far as a marketing plan goes. You need as many buyers as possible to see your house and make offers on it. So you can go to step number four, which is accepting an offer from a buyer on the short sale. Now, here's a quick tip. When you accept an offer from a buyer on a short sale, you need to make sure the buyer is aware of the time frame it takes to get a short sale approval letter from your lender. Now, every lender is different, but you just want to prepare the buyer to wait 90 days and upwards of 9 months to get a full short sale approval. The reason why I mention this is, the worst thing that can happen during the short sale approval process is your buyer gets tired of waiting walks away and then we have to start the marketing process all over again so make sure your buyer is aware that it's a short sale now once you have the accepted offer from your buyer you go to step number five which is actually submitting your entire short sale package to your lender now your short sale package will most likely consist of your listing agreement with your real estate broker your purchase agreement with your buyer all of your personal financials and a hardship letter detailing what happened from the time you bought the house until the time whereas right now you're looking for a short sale from the lender so once you submit that entire financial package it will take you to step number six which is obtaining full short sale approval from your lender now keep this in mind when you obtain a full short sale approval from your lender, it can take anywhere from 90 days to nine months for you to get that approval letter. And in that approval letter, it's gonna dictate the sale price of the property, it's gonna dictate the opening of escrow and the close of escrow date. So you need to follow the instructions very, very precisely. Now, once you have that short sale approval letter, you go to step number seven, and you actually perform on the sales contract. That means that whatever you and your buyer agree to, and whatever changes the short sale approval letter from your lender might supersede on that purchase agreement from the buyer, you need to start taking those steps. In other words, get your inspections done, get all your reports done, get all your disclosures taken care of, and make sure your buyer starts to get their loan process going because you have a, a set close of escrow date noted on that full approval letter. Now, once you've done all your, your duties for the uh, contract, you take it to step number eight, which is the close of escrow. We get the final lender's approval on the escrow closing statement and your short sale is complete. So those are the steps. Number one, hire a licensed real estate professional. Step number two, make sure your realtor is in contact with your lender. Step number three, make sure your realtor does a full scale marketing plan. Number four, make sure you guys accept an offer from a buyer who knows it's a short sale and is willing to wait. Step number five, Submit your entire short sale package to your lender. Step number six, get the short sale approval from the lender. Step number seven, 
perform on your sales contract. And step number eight, close escrow. So hopefully this explains the short sale process. I don't want to take too much more of your time, but if you want more information, please feel free to contact me. My website is www.victorforhomes.com or you can go ahead and reach me on Facebook. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.